Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0499 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0499 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system vent valve control circuit high. And what does this mean? Well, the EVAP system was created to contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank and get sent back to the engine to get burnt off. And this is for emissions. And the onboard computers are seeing the air inside the system, so it'll have to be fixed. And the main cause of this air is this vent valve which is usually located on the charcoal canister. They can sometimes be located differently, but on Honda, it's usually they're located on the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is usually located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. It'll have like three hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And these are very commonly located up and underneath the car by the gas tank. And these vent valves can be bought separately. So you can go buy one separately, or you can buy the whole charcoal canister with the vent valve. So the first thing to do that if you get a P0499 code is go Google where the charcoal canister is and this vent solenoid vent valve and check it out. Be sure this wiring going to it is good because an open, a short, or a bad connection can cause the same symptoms as a, as a valve. So you want to check that wiring going to it. And then if all the wiring looks good, go ahead and replace this vent solenoid or vent valve, however you want to say it. And most of the time, that's going to solve the problem. Usually that's going to solve a P0499 code. But if you do replace it and you do, and all the wiring is good and you replace this and then you go ahead and possibly replace this whole charcoal canister, then it could possibly be something else. And so any of these other components inside the system could also potentially cause this. While these other components usually will give another error code, sometimes strange things happen. So the next thing to check would be the purge valve solenoid which is located up and on top of the vehicle. And this is located up and inside the engine compartment. It's just a small valve that opens when the engine's running so gas vapors can flow into the engine and get burnt off and closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And they're really easy to, to uh, swap out if they need to be. Uh, also be sure to check the electrical connection and they'll have some hoses going to it, usually two. So the next thing to check would be this purge valve. And one thing to keep in mind also is that the gas cap is part of the system. It needs a seal so that the whole EVAP system can go into a slight vacuum. If it can't go into a slight vacuum, then there, it could cause an error. Usually you'll get another code if it's a bad gas cap, but it could cause some kind of cascading effect down the system. So it's something to keep in mind. Be sure the gas cap is locked all the way to place and that the seal around it looks good because it is a part of the EVAP system. So if you've gone through and you tested or replaced this charcoal vent solenoid, the charcoal canister, the purge solenoid, the next thing to check would be all these hoses that run around everything because if they have a leak or if they're clogged or anything like this, then they could cause an error in the system. And so the next thing to do would be go around and check these hoses. Be sure there's no cracks in them or no opens or anything like this. If you took it to a mechanic, they'd, they'd have a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the system and then smoke would come out if there was any leak. And so they know where it was and they'd be able to fix it. But you likely won't have that. So just go around and check all these all these connections and be sure there's no cracks and or just anything that's obviously would be leaking because it can't be leaking it needs to be sealed up it needs to be a sealed system so then so the next thing to do would be go around and check all these hoses that go from the gas tank to the charcoal canister up to the per solenoid and into the into the engine and be sure there's no leaks or clogs going on and so if you if you've done all that and you still have this air and you just can't get rid of it then the next thing to check would be the fuel tank pressure sensor. And the fuel tank pressure sensor is what sends all the information to the onboard computer, all the data, what's going on in the system. So there might not be an error inside the system, but the sensor has gone bad or something along these lines. So the onboard computer just thinks that some, there's, a, there's something wrong in the system since it's getting bad data. So the next thing to do would be go check this fuel tank pressure sensor and be sure that it's good and, and remember check the wiring bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor be sure it's got a good connection there's no opens or shorts but that would be the next thing to do is go to check the fuel tank pressure sensor and once you do that that's pretty much the whole evap system and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a honda with the p0499 code and how you go about fixing it if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.